What started your interest in human rights issues? Going to the Soviet Union in 1968 and learning about the gulags, the year that the confessions of Matt Turner came out. And it was because of that book that we were invited because they thought Bill was a good revolutionary and they were going to publish the confessions. They invited me along because I had published translations of Russian poetry. And when we arrived, they discovered that they had just invaded Czechoslovakia. So when we got there, we persuaded a couple of prominent Russian writers, Yevtushenko leading them, to say a few words of protest to their government. And they sent us all to Tashkent in Middle Asia where they couldn't hear us. The writers told us about the gulags in Russia, which we had not known about. I was filled with information about these prisons and camps, and I was awakened to those particular human rights problems. I came back, and I went to the State Department and tried to talk about it in Washington, and was patted on the head and told to go home. Philip Roth was also a neighbor in Connecticut, and his girlfriend had just joined the first group of Amnesty International, which was in New York, and she said, come with me and tell us about it. And that's how I got involved. Why do you suppose that became your passion? I was so horrified at the thought that anyone could falsely imprison, could torture another human being. My first mission for amnesty, it was to Chile at the height of Pinochet's coup. 